Hey guys, well, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, today's my first video, and I decided to make this simple demonstration to show you guys what we will be making in this video. So, this is a simple login system to basically teach you guys how to use databases and using JavaScript and like connect them to front end, back end. You, you'll learn how to use Express and all that good stuff. So, let's let me just start this demonstration. So, we can create an account. So, let's make a name like anything. Let's do test123. And let's make the password test one two three. We submit it. It says okay. So your data has been stored. Now if we go into our Postgres database and we refresh. We should see here, as you can see, we I've made it so that it assigns a UUID, a unique ID for each record. Then we have a the name, the username test one two three, and we have the password test one two three. We can do this multiple times, like. We could do this again instead of you can just do test one two the same test one two we save as you can see if we go back here and if we uh refresh we should see here as you can see right here and now let's test out the login feature so we go back here close uh never i don't know what that's happening but now let's pick a password let's just do this one let's do test one two three and test one two three is the password so as we can see let me just open the console for this one because it logs data out so here let's do a username test one two three and let's do test one two three and if we submit it as you can see it just correct credentials because we Put the correct credentials that match this record here but let's go here and let's put something else such as this and the wrong password and we and if we submit it's gonna be user not found wrong credentials because this user does not exist but if we take this but then if we go create a user something like a and hi and if we make it okay now if we go back login let's do a hi it's gonna work because because we just created the user and the login works so i so i will be teaching you guys how to do this in the next part so yeah stay tuned and yeah so uh, one of the tools we need for this project is node.js uh, it's a javascript runtime and we and we needed it for this project it and uh it's a good tool and you guys will need to know javascript for almost to make any javascript application uh yeah so please download the eight version 18 instead of the version 16 because 18 is the one i'm using right now next for the ide you guys can download visual city code it's free and yeah it's very lightweight this is what i'm using but in the end of the day it's just an ide and it doesn't really matter so yeah i'll be i'll be providing with you guys with all these links in the description so yeah so you can download it from there next thing for the database i'm using postgres sql it's good so yeah you guys can download it from this from the download link i'll be putting in the description so once you guys have all the stuff installed we are ready yeah so for the so now, so now let's get to the project setup part we need to create a new folder which will be storing our project files into let's create a new folder let's name it login so I S T M. this will be storing our project files so let's open the folder click on this path area which like our path navigator backspace cmd enter and now this is going to open a cmd or or a command prompt window in the specified path so now we're going to get two project folders no or put or two folders perhaps client and ser vr server so i think this is pretty self-explanatory but uh we'll but we'll be storing our client uh our our front end stuff our react front end in the client folder and our server our back end code in our server folder I press enter now two folders have been created first let's deal with our server stuff so now let's create an npm init y which which will like initiate a package of json npm you're you're only going to get access to this command or the package manager one if you install node node.js properly so please get that set up because it's because it's really crucial to this uh project so when you do that, it's gonna take a minute, and uh, it's gonna set up our package of JSON. Uh, the package of JSON is, makes it easy for us to deal with packages and stuff, and run our code. 
Next, we're going to install the packages we need. We could do npm install uh, or we could do npm i, it doesn't really matter. npm install express after that pg, which is our uh, Postgres ORM or object relational mapper, which will make us which will make it easy for us to um uh, make queries into our database. Next, we need to install cores. And yeah, once we enter, it's going to install all those packages one by one. It gi it gives us this neat animation. It's pretty cool. So once it's done, we as you can see, it has added all these packages. Next, we need to install npm install uh, nodemon, which will make us which will make it easy for us to restart our server every time we make changes, and we'll install as a dev dependency. The reason we need this is because normally when you make an express server, whenever you make changes to it, you need to like restart the server every time, so you need to rerun the command. But using this, when on save, it will just restart the server. So we press enter, it is going to install it. And uh, in just a minute, once it's installed, we'll have all these packages. So now we have set up our server folder. Now it's cd dot dot means go back a directory. And let's see it into our client folder where we'll set up our uh, react frontend just to clear screen. And let's do npx create react app dot so i think this command is pretty self-explanatory but this will just create a react app npx is uh, is a command used to create a react app and you will only get access to this if you guys have set up node.js properly and this dot is just saying install in the directory written right now so now if you press enter to this it's gonna take some time it's gonna take a while but yeah then it's then it's just gonna create a new react app as you can see in this folder and yeah, it's gonna take a minute, so um, I'll be back when it's done. And yeah, as you can see, our our command prompt has given us a output saying, "Yes, so our thing is ready." So uh, it, it gives us some instructions, but we do, but like we don't really need that right now. So let's um cd dot dot and this code dot this this command you'll only get access to if you guys have installed Visual Studio Code and also added it to your path. I mean, I'm pretty sure it does that on installation. So yeah, once you do that, it will be ready. As you can see, it's open Visual Studio Code, or in the process of opening it. And uh, as you can see, there's two folders here: client, which has all of our React stuff, and our server, is all of our server stuff. So we open our source. We have our app.js and all that stuff. So right here. This is where our front end React code is going to go. So, be, so before we run anything, we're gonna I I need to delete some files. So just so that uh, uh, just so that we can keep our code a little bit neat and not cluttered, let's um uh, delete these files. And uh, yeah, just one second. And yeah, once we delete all these files. Then we need to go into index.js and we need to remove these uh, imports where we import those files. We don't need this. We also don't need this. And then we can save it. And after that, in our app.js, we don't need logo.svg. Or I don't think we need any of this stuff. We can just write our own boilerplate for this. So let's save it. Let's go into app.css. Uh, Control A. Backspace. Save. And uh, let's just write some boilerplate. So let's do import React from React. This is just importing React. <laughs> I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, const app. And I'm just going to write a simple arrow function that just creates a React component. If you guys don't know React already, I think you guys only need to know the basics. But I don't think it's that complicated for this project. And let's just return a simple div, I guess. This simple HTML and yeah, in before saving, we need to export it as default. Export default app. We can export the function so that this index.js can access it and render it as a component. So once you have done that, we need to go into our server folder 
and check our package.json because here we have an index.js but that doesn't exist anymore but that doesn't exist right now so let's change this to a server.js what i'm doing is just changing the main uh, file name it doesn't really do anything now we can create that server.js.js and yeah so now we have set up our server and our client so now let's open up this uh, command prompt window here and let's cd into our uh, client <laughs> then let's run this command that they tell us to run here npm start what this does is it's going to open a uh, browser window with our uh, react app uh, yeah so it's going to take a minute but it's going to install all the packages and uh, not install it's more just going to find all the packages and run it so this is going to take a minute but it's going to open in a browser window soon enough and yeah it's showing some warnings here please don't and it's going to say starting development server and uh yeah it's open in localhost 3000 that is the default location that it's going to open at the default port i mean and yeah it's going to load for a bit and uh it's going to open it i my computer is really slow because i'm running a lot of tasks right now it probably won't be as slow for you but as you can see open react app and hello world is right here because we wrote hello world here we could probably change it it just for demonstration go to app.js and let's change it to hello youtube you save this hello youtube see so yeah so we have set up the boilerplate for our project the next part will i'll probably be um um doing the server code first so yeah so yeah let's get into the server